Hello, my wonderful people. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, depending on your time zone or anytime you are meeting this beautiful platform, Linda's TV show. If you like the content or whatever you are seeing in this platform, kindly subscribe. Put on your notification to all notification. Most of you claim you don't see my notification because you do not set it to all. When you set it to all, anything that I post in this platform, you will get it. YouTube, I appreciate you for creating this wonderful platform that we are using to disseminate information. It's not easy to manage such big platform. And also, I want to bring this to YouTube notice and also a disclaimer that here in Linda's TV show, we react to all forms of videos across the globe. We do not preach misleading information. We do not preach hate speech. We do not preach violence. We do not instigate any violence. Rather, we are here to educate, inform. Information is power. When you are informed, you will be educated. And when you are deformed, your own is gone. So that is what we... Capture him, bring him here, and prosecute him, and put him in custody. 100,000 other seven acres will emerge. We know, we should, we, we, by now, we should also have come to the conclusion or the recognition that you don't kill ideas through the barriers of a gun. It's a gun, you know. So what is it that is instigating the resentment? What are they trying to achieve? The other separatists, let me use the word, uh, to describe that group of ESN and Boko uh, Haram, and even the video work group as well. We know dialogue. Dialogue is cheaper. Dialogue is respectful. Dialogue is accommodating. If America would talk to the Taliban in Afghanistan after so many years of fighting, if the British government could talk to the IRA in Northern Ireland after so many years of not letting, why can't we sit down and discuss with all these groups? And and that means they are brothers and sisters. They must from the moon. You know, uh, some of my colleagues say that uh, they should bring back uh, Simon Eber uh, from uh, Iceland. I said, no. If you think Simon Eber is the one uh, making orders for sit at home in Southeast or encouraging the killings of people, then let's dialogue with him. It is meaningless to be asking the British, the uh, uh, Finnish uh, government to, uh, to bring him back to Nigeria to face trial. Look, let me tell you, even if you capture him, bring him here and prosecute him and put him in custody, 100,000 other seven acres will emerge. We know, we should, we, we, by now, we should also have come to the conclusion or the recognition that you don't kill ideas through the barriers of a gun. It's a gun, you know. So what is it that is instigating the resentment? What are they trying to achieve? So many years ago, I went to Bula Town in the company of my late friend uh, Ahmed Bula, who was killed in uh, Ono State uh, last year or so. And in course of that trip, I decided to just take a drive to a very beautiful vicinity. I saw the mountains behind his house. On the way, I came across some people who said they were Boko Haram. They didn't allow me to continue, but they told me that 
that, was, that place was the territory. It is no longer part of Nigeria, but we've taken over. Hello, good evening, SM viewers. This is Satellite Media. We are looking at the statement that is coming from a Nigerian senator and talking about the senator representing Delta North Senatorial District in the Nigerian House of Senate and talking about Senator Ned Nwoko advising the Nigerian government that the right thing to do is to negotiate with agitators, particularly Samonepa and uh, Biafra agitators. Mr. Opala, we have watched that video. Let us get a media reaction before we forge ahead. You see, the senator from Delta State, um, that man, it seems that he uh, is straightforward man. If we have people like, like him in the house, I think Nigeria could not have been in this way it is now. And if you have people like him in the entire Biafra nation, I think the problem could have been solved. I, I could remember this time, there was a time he came out and said, he is from Delta State. But by trap, he's an evil man by tribe. He's a man who never deny his identity. And if you watch what he said, I think, not I think, he's on the right track. Now, this man coming out to speak like this will show you that the problem of Nigeria and Biafra is Southeast. How do you mean? If, a senat if senators in Southeast will come and speak like this man, back him up now, the thing, it will be round table, turn up. Okay, come to Senate. All the whole people are pe persecuting Nam Dekalo. All those people that are saying someone should, should, should bring back home. All of them are senators from Southeast, not senators from South South. Okay, now let us look at his uh, argument that those are saying arrest someone are bringing back to Nigeria prosecute him. He's saying that if you perhaps extradite someone back to Nigeria to, for prosecution, that 100,000 someone will emerge. How do you see that statement? What he said is truth. If they try today, do anybody believe when they say, get Nam De Kalo, here's the problem. And when you get him, problem is solved. And when you get him, everything will quench. But do they know that someone, a person like someone ever will rise up? After getting Nam De Kalo, they don't believe that a person like someone ever is there. Nobody knows someone ever. But the minute they took Nam De Kalo, someone ever came up. Likewise, if they took someone ever, God forbid, I know that they did not succeed. I'm telling you honestly, you took someone ever, you took Nam De Kalo, only someone ever rise up. If you took someone, if you take someone ever now, Nam De Kalo will rise up. Someone ever will rise up. In double food, I'm telling you honestly, what the man said is right. So you have the opinion that at best that the government should call for a roundtable conversation? Yes, the, the, the government should come for a roundtable conversation. And let me tell you one thing. People don't understand mostly in Igbo factor. Igbo man don't have one permanent leader. Everybody in Igbo land, whether south, south or southeast, is a leader. When you mess up as a leader, they push you out. Take another person that will perform more than you. Look at it. When in the First Republic, Zeke was there. Everybody, hell is sick, hell is sick, hell is sick. Look at the Zeke. You know, see much. Everybody there, look at the look, look at the Rosie, look at the Rosie. Uh, I mean, they kill, not to kill, you know, see in their own crew. They thought that Igbo man have come to an end, or you could rise up. So, in the last year, what I'm saying is that no permanent leader in this Igbo land. No permanent leader that if you conquer this man, you have conquered the whole Igbos, or you have conquered the whole Biafras. If not only Ibo, Ibo speaking tongue in Biafra, all the whole Biafra, call it the Shakri, call it the Do, call it the Ishan, 
call it a uh, ibibio call it anang call it a fik call it ogoja call it ejo call it a kalabari that is the characteristics that is the same character that's why if you look at them it seems that they are stubborn but they are not stubborn but they know they are right and when you get one another one will rise up but before you get that one others may be doing as if they are not that they are, they are not nobody but the minute you get one say ah the minute i get this one all of them with double a completely lie nothing like rank adede so now it means um because uh as senator ned Woko made it very clear just like uh, the Nobel laureate i'm talking about professor Olashenka, we always say that behavior is an ideology and you cannot defeat an ideology and we are seeing this uh senator who is equally who is a lawyer coming to say that you cannot defeat an ideology of course that Biafra is an ideology yes uh the man the, what the man says is Biafra is an ideology and Biafra is a spirit can you kill spirits can you catch a spirit Biafra is a wind blowing can you catch wind you will feel wind but you cannot catch wind you will see what wind is blowing but they cannot catch wind the wind may blow to this direction today tomorrow it blow to another direction that's wind that's what Biafra is this senator Walker, as he's speaking now, he made me to think back and remember Zogu. What physically did Zogu make? Uh, what role did he play that make you to remember him? The, it, just like the role this place play, coming out to speak the truth, coming out to stand for Igbo people, coming out to stand for Biafra. This man is a revolutionary like Zogu. He don't want statue code. That is why he come out to speak the truth. The revolutionaries in Nigeria for them to understand what the way they're supposed to follow. Okay, Moko is the senator representing Delta North Central District. Of course, we know that Delta North is uh, having a nine local governments in Delta State. That's the Igbo speaking part of Delta. Is this su sufficient to say that Moko is an Igbo man as, you, as your brother? It's an Igbo man. He have said it by his mouth. But the one more, Major Sogun. Um, uh, uh, actually, the different errand. Uh, uh, um, the other man. Name them. Are they not Igbos? Are they not Biafrans? Don't they fight on our side? Remember uh, Asaba massacre. Do they massacre, massacre Asaba because they are uh, they, because they are Nigerian or they are uh, Yorubas or they are Flanese? They massacre them because they are Igbo. They are Biafrans. Remember. Mm, uh, um, opani killing. Are they kill them because they are Igbos? They are Biafrans. So forget that divide that rule that Nigeria and British want to take to scatter Igbos. Do you know that creation of state is a divide that rule? So in total support of uh, what the senator Ned Woko is saying. Yes, I'm completely support. What he's saying is this, is the truth. Look at, um. Uh, uh, Shekugumi will come and negotiate for bandits. Negotiate for Boko Haram. They call them repentant Boko Haram. Of course, that Woko is citing instances where American government negotiate with uh, some people who originally they do not want to agree with. He cited, he cited even the um, uh, uh, UK. UK and the, and, the, and the Irish. Do you know that the UK and the Irish fought, 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 their own fight, their own fight to enter Second World War? This is why if you go, if you come to Irish, we have Irish Catholic, Irish Protestants. What cause it? Because Irish say no, the Britain will not swallow them. England, when you are, you are, you are in Britain, you are talking of England. England want to swallow all, all West, all, all, uh, all islands. This is why Scotland hold their referendum last time, but unfortunately, the youth said no in Scotland. The elderly people know the rule of England against Scotland, against Irish, who said no. But the youth who feel that they want jolly, jolly life vote against Scotland uh, 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 exist. They fought, fought, fought. To the essence, when England or Britain discover that they cannot swallow they went ahead to do what to negotiate with them 
they went ahead to give them temporary um, rule for them to for there to be peace and if you go now more or less irish have almost their own autonomy to control themselves that's what I'm saying. They have almost the autonomy to control themselves. So, in a nutshell, from what is uh, coming from not just ordinary Nigerian, I'm talking about a senator, if most senators uh, have uh, come to buy into that idea, do you think it will further push for their restoration? They have to buy. They have to buy that idea because you cannot use arms. On your own, the people you are, you are claiming, you want them to remain with you. They are part of you. Then you are using arms on them. How do you think that they will agree to be with you? They are resisting not to die. Then you are killing them. How much more when they say they have surrendered? What will you do? You vanish them up. Look at, I listen to this man, Ben Obulie. His speech or his uh, analysis after the war. Do you know that after the war, when Gowan declared no vanquish, no veto, no vanquish, still Gowan came back with Nigerian government to go and apprehend those people that we are among the living, that the living that we are among the 15 boys, 15 January boys, revolution, not cool. And went and jailed them. They spent five to seven years in detention, in prison, without trial. Um, okay, I think uh, this is a good place to let it go, so that we can uh, have other conversation. This is satellite media, and I'm Mr. Matthew. I must say, very thank you for your time. Thank you so much, my wonderful viewers, for watching this video together with me from the beginning to the end. Like I said before, if you like what you see here, if you like what I do in this platform. As you have finished watching this video, please hit that red button that says subscribe and put on your notification bell to all notifications. In that way, you'll be able to know when I upload a new video. Share my videos, leave your comments in the comment section constructively. Until I meet your way again in my next video, I still remain your Linda's TV show. Bye-bye.